Well, good morning, folks. Um, it's Friday. Like I said, I'd, I'd come down and start to get this sorted out and tidied up. So, I'll just bring it back down here. So, yeah, I've got the slabs in a nice line. Nice and level. I mean, you don't look it from there, but you have to get right down, 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 down. But yeah, they're in. They level that way and they level that way. So what I'm going to do is just give them a quick pack around, make sure they're nice and secure, and then I'll measure off and put uh, my front two in on the end. I'm not so bothered about the middle for the time being. They should be alright. But yeah, I need to uh, figure out where I'm going. I mean, this is the end, and these little white markers, the plant labels middle of the slab middle of the slab so that's where the pallets are going to join middle of the slab and then this is going to be about four centimeters off the end here i think something like that so it's snug open i mean i can fill this in this level these slabs aren't going to be no problem to be honest they make easy shoveling off if anything so like i say now i need to put a pallet along here and uh, measure off where the front's going to go how far I'm having it to the back a bit of a hoverang or because uh, I've got this little bit of a pallet here what I've been using as a marker so if I just put this here so that it's level with the marker That's where that's going to uh, end on the slab and come on the inside of that then rather than the outside I thought coming in on the inside would be a bit better so yeah now I've got to measure 120 off here and uh, see where we're going and get that in but yeah that's where we're at at the minute the slab's down so like I said I'm going to have to pinch a bit of this soil here level this out scrape it around Put a bit down here so I can do the same there, measure the pallet from where it ends off of there, and then measure 120 over here and get a, another four centimeter gap. So it'll be 124 from uh, wherever I decide, kind of thing. So, yeah, we'll uh, show you that soon. All right, then, folks, so that's me front to in. Level up. So we'll go down and across, and there should be a four centimeter gap either side. But what I'll do to make sure that the gap is equal, I'll start from the middle from from here and go out. And uh, like I say, with the Euro pallets, I'm gonna put a couple of screws in them. So I'll have two screws either end in the middle just to hold it off the uh, actual slabs itself to stop it absorbing the moisture so yeah two screws there and then two on that side screwed into the same height all the way along because these slabs are level now all the way along and uh, we'll build, like I say build from the middle outwards hopefully get the same same distance gap either side fingers crossed so yeah, I'm gonna get to screwing some Euro pallets up now. Getting the, the two screws in the both ends. I'm gonna do all four and uh, crack on. So I'll bring you back and show you that in a minute. How I've done it and how I'm gonna do it. So see you in a minute. So this is what I meant with the screws. So what we've done, put this under them all. Screwed it down. So yeah, they should all roughly be level. Same this side. So on that side. Like I say, same again here. But so it's just just lifting. That's uh, should give me an equal gap now. So get a few more of these done, and uh, then we can start building. Bang a level on top and see where how far we out we are. I don't think we should be far anyway. 
I don't think we should be. <laughs> Famous last words, I don't think we should be. If my levels are right. But we shall see. So yeah, uh, see if I can do this. Alright folks, so this is where we're where we're up to at the minute. I don't think I'm gonna be, be up here much longer to be honest. It's uh, getting on to tea, di tea dinner time. I've been up uh, since stupid o'clock this morning. Well, I got up here probably about eight o'clock. I say it's twelve now, so I've been up here four hours. And uh, it don't seem like we've done a lot, but the hard work's been done. I say getting the foundations in. Foundations, yeah, the slabs in, getting them leveled up. That was the uh, bit of a ache of the, the bits. But yeah, we're not too bad. Obviously, it's a bit awkward with these pallets because oh, you can see look, that these are recessed down. There's a there's a gap. And then on the front of this one, it's a bit thinner on here. You can see the front of the board, so it's it's trying to get the best, do the best with what I've got, shall I say. As long as it don't look too odd, I'm all right. I mean, I'll just move this, I say. It's, uh, it's level there, look. So I'll move that out and uh, take you from this side, show you from the bottom. Yeah, I don't think it's uh, looking too bad. Like I say, hopefully this... Oh, that needs going out a little bit more, don't it? That needs pushing back out. Yeah, there should be a four centimetre overlap all the way. And if you look, this one's just come in a bit. So I need to measure that, push it out. And then I say, hopefully, when we get here, they'll be the same distance. There, fingers crossed. But like I say, that's probably enough. For me today drills run out of battery and all to be honest i didn't charge it and i just had it in the car it's been in there for a while so yeah that's run out but we're we're cracking on i mean i've got no roof for this yet <laughs> so right, i can build it up and, and do as i want but i've got no roof i've got nothing to uh, build a roof i think i've got one sheet of polycarb in there under the uh, in the other one and that's it so we haven't even got a roof yet for it but if we can build it in and get the main bit in that's uh, another thing to worry about or we'll address it to later time and hopefully we'll find a bit of something but yeah i've got all sorts of bits of woods in here some uh yeah this is a sheet of polycarb like i say i did have three but i gave the neighbor some because he gave me the polycarb for my greenhouse but yeah we've got some some bed lats here so they can come in handy on the build over here they'll get used for something over here i'm not sure what probably the roof supports along each thing like i said i could probably roof it and sheet it with some a bit of membrane like what i've got there i'm uh, i'm not sure like i said i could build a build the structure over it but i think that's looking cracking at the minute i'm impressed apart from all this Bloody crap, look, see, that went there yesterday. And it's not mine. Yeah, oh well. So yeah, cheers for watching everyone. Uh, hope you enjoy it and uh, as we're going through and doing what we, we're doing. Like I say, we've got the screws on. So there's no worry about them right in there, hopefully. They're off the ground. These are all gonna, I should have really slid some cardboard in between here, but yeah, those bags of two chippings, what I said I was going to use over there, I'm going to use over here. Because I've got them. And uh, that means... And I know where I'm going, like I say. Thread some cardboard through here, stop the weeds. And re-cardboard this and get some wood chippings, at least wood chip half of this path. So it don't look too bad and it'll finish it off, I think. So yeah, cheers for watching everybody. And 
Hope you liked it. If you do, give us a thumbs up. But yeah, we're uh, we're going there. I'm just happy. You know what I mean? It it looks like something's getting done now. It's not just materials being bought and dumped and and not used. So yeah, cheers for watching everybody and uh, have a good weekend. Right, so if, as you can see there, the tape measure's bloody crap. But yeah, 65, so I've got five centimetres that side. I've got four centimetres all the way down the back, roughly. So I'm just going to show you this side, because this side's out. I had to, like I said, I had to have a nosy and put all four in and uh, see where I was. So we uh, Oh, three centimetres, 63. So I'll slide this out another two centimetres. So it is, uh, like I say, this isn't attached yet, but I just put them in to, to see where I'd finish. So, like I say, I've got three centimetre gap that side. And, uh, five centimetre gap that side so I'm going to need to move that out a couple of centimetres just so it matches and it looks uh, alright just little things but yeah I know it's there some people might not bother but I know it's there and it's annoying but yeah as you can see with the with the level of these when they've got the screws in they are just sat just a bit below but when I've got the screws in, that should pick them all up and uh, sit on level. So yeah, happy days folks. And uh, right, I'm going this time. <laughs> See you later.